Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is Hovenal Narcisse. And for today's video, I'm going to conduct a product review of the two Gustin Selvage denim jeans that I have in my collection. And here they are. This indigo is their color indigo number seven in their stock which is coming from the corn mills while this one is the black 77 from corn mills and i ordered this indigo jeans last year in the month of april and i was able to get it after two months since the time that I ordered this pair of jeans because Gustin has a campaign project wherein they have to sell a number of pieces before they're going to sew these jeans and have it del delivered to your residence. So it took me two months before I received this first Gustin salvage denim which I ordered and Gustin is located in San Francisco, California and have it addressed to my Johnny Air Cargo forwarding address in, in San Francisco and after nine days after they delivered to my address in San Francisco I received this pair of jeans in Metro Manila through the efforts of the Johnny Air Cargo Plus. This black cone mills model number 77, I ordered this pair last April of this year. And after one month, because I ordered this when the campaign was about to be finished, and after one month, I was able to receive this pair of jeans, which is the black corn mills number 77. So showing it to you, you can see the comparison of the color. This is blue or indigo, and this is black. Personally, this blue is the right color however if you see the black it looks like a dark gray comparing it with my black shirt so you can see now the difference actually i was not satisfied with the color of this black cone mills uh, denim uh, fabric because of the color it's too light for me and I would like it to be black like my the color of my shirt. The first one, I was lighter in weight. So I ordered size 30 in the classic fit. And it looks good. It fits me. And I had an unboxing video of these pants last year. And you can review such video of the feet of these denim jeans. So as a signature from Gustin denim jeans, they have their selvage ends in one of the loops near the leather pads at the back pocket, which is located at the right back pocket. And then you have a simple blue stitch or thread, which is their signature arcade and of course there they don't have any rivets on the back pockets but they have uh, bar tacks and no pickable surveys on the coin pocket however they they use a very very light buttons and the rivets are Comparing it to the rivets of the Levi's and other salvage, salvage denim jeans, this is 
these are very light and I hope they can stand the pressure of uh, of using the pockets this is the straight cut and it is size 30 it is barely fitting to my waist but uh, it took me I think uh, two weeks to use this as part of my rotation and since then I did not use it for my daily work. By the way, the weight of this indigo jeans is 13.5 ounces per square yard. This black cone number 77 cut or 77 fabric from Gustin. I have it uh, last April and this is very soft and lighter than the indigo fabric. This is 13.25 ounces and this one is 13.5. So a difference of 0.5 ounce per square yard so just the same they have their arc weight blue thread line on the back pocket they have a darker veg, veg tan or vegetable tan leather patch at the back with just the word justin comparing it to the uh, indigo the color of the leather patch is very light a vegetable tan leather patch also and Selfage's signature is one on one place on one of the loops, belt loops. Of course, they have a very nice, the usual chain stitch, the self edge on the inside. This black cone number 77 is slim cut and the size is 32 this one fits well in me and i also had a unpacking and unboxing video which you can refer in my past videos and you can see how this pair of pants fits me in my body so i haven't use this pair of jeans because I was not satisfied. Actually, I wasn't satisfied with the color because this, this looks like a dark gray to my taste. They are still new. This one I paid uh, for about $98 to include the tax and the shipping. However, when it arrived in the Philippines, I had to pay another shipping fee, which is about 1,200 as my payment for the shipping made by Johnny Air Cargo. This one is more expensive. It is, it cost me $111 to include the shipping tax in going to my address in San Francisco However, when it arrived here in the Philippines, I paid another 1,200 pesos for the shipping and handling fee paid to Johnny Air Cargo Plus. So actually, this, these are very nice denim jeans, salvage denim jeans as your entry level. However, you have to wait for two months before it arrives to your doorsteps, doorsteps or in your place of residence. And cheap, but you have to wait for the campaign to be fully stuck or fully completed. But they are worth it, worth it because if you would like to experience the use of salvage denim jeans, 
these are your first entry level and nice for a nice smooth wear because these are very light and not too heavy like those who are which are heavy category like those 15 and above ounces in weight so i suggest if you want a experience for a real salvage denim experience from cornmills the gustin is very recommendable for newbies and this is where i started so if you have any comments on this comparison of the blue color and the black color from gustin please write your comments down below and if you haven't clicked that notification bell please do so you will be informed of my future videos here in this youtube channel please subscribe to this youtube channel so that you will be informed of more contents of salvage denim and heritage wear to include boots and with that thank you for watching this video and have a good day bye